वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एम डाक्टर एम हेमांबर रेडि जेल इन बोटनी एपी रिशेंट सर्जनरी कॉलेज नागार्जुन सागर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन रेस्पिरेशन लेसन टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चंस एंड फोर मार्क्स क्वेश्चंस लास्ट क्लास आई वाज एक्सप्लेन in ipa question paper three types of questions are there very short answer type short answer type and essay type of questions very short answer type questions means you have to answer maximum five lines so in ipa question paper section a very short answer type questions 10 questions are there you have to answer all these 10 questions section b short answer type questions that means four marks questions in question paper eight questions will be given you have to answer six questions each question carries four marks you have to answer 20 lines for each four marks question section c means essay questions that means a long answer type questions in question paper three questions are there you have to write you have to answer two questions each question carries eight marks you have to answer 60 lines for essay question so in plant physiology in it the respiration lesson now i will explain important uh, two marks questions and four marks questions so already was uh, explained for two marks questions you have to write maximum five lines answer for four marks questions you have to write 20 lines maximum you see in this uh, respiration lesson what uh, two marks questions i will explain one by one different substrates get oxidized during respiration how does a respiratory quotient that means rq indicate which type of substrate that is a carbohydrate fat or protein is getting oxidized rq is a by p what do a and b stand for what type of substrate have rq of 1 more than 1 less than 1 this is the question you see respiratory substrates are organic compounds they differ in their oxygen and carbon content depending on this oxygen content they consume different amounts of oxygen during their complete oxidation releasing different amounts of co2 the ratio of co2 released to that of o2 consumed is a respiratory quotient that means rq means evolved co2 by consumed oxygen so a is volume of co2 evolved b is volume of oxygen consumed rq of carbohydrate is 1 that means carbohydrates are substrate whatever the volume of co2 is evolved same volume of oxygen is consumed so that always rq value is 1 for fats rq value is less than 1 whereas in organic acids rq value is more than 1 okay so this is very important question so that rq means evolved co2 by consumed oxygen so if you write upside down it becomes above keep in mind rq is 
we have all received CO2 by consumed oxygen. Next question. What is the specific role of F0, F1 particles in respiration? F0, F1 particles are proteins in the inner mitochondrial membrane. Actually in mitochondria, inner membrane possess some four legs. These are called as cristae. Okay? On cristae, these particles we can observe. They facilitate the diffusion of protons breaking down the proton gradient. Energy released during this breakdown is used in phosphorylation of ADP to ATP by F0, F1 particles. Okay? So, this is the important two mass question. You see, what is the specific role of F0, F1 particle in respiration. F0, F1 particles are proteins in the inner mitochondrial membranes. They facilitate the diffusion of protons, breaking down the proton gradient. Energy released during this breakdown is used in phosphorylation of ADP to ATP by F0, F1 particles. Next, one more important question. When does aerobic respiration occur in man and yeast? During exercise, inadequate amount of oxygen is available for cellular respiration. Under these conditions, anaerobic respiration takes place in humans. During yeast fermentation, increase in number of yeast cells and alcohol formation result in anaerobic condition. You know, by anaerobic respiration, by the oxidation of one glucose molecule, only two ATPs are generated. That is a partial oxidation. Okay? Next, uh, one more question. What is the common pathway for aerobic and anaerobic respirations? Where does it takes place? So answer is glycolysis, it takes place in cytosol. That means glycolysis is a common pathway for aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Already I was explained, glycolysis means formation of two pyruvic acids from one glucose molecule is called as glycolysis. This is explained by M. Mayerhoff Parnas, that's why it is also called as EMP pathway. It occurs in cytosol. So, glycolysis is also called as core respiration. What cellular organic substances are never used as a respiratory substrates? Pure proteins or fats are never used as respiratory substrates. So, generally, in respiration, directly involved substrates are carbohydrates. If carbohydrates are not available, proteins, if fats are there, these proteins and fats should be converted into some other one, then it will be involved in respiration. So that pure proteins or fats are never used as respiratory substrates. Why is the RQ of fats less than that of carbohydrates? Already I was explained. RQ means evolved CO2 by consumed oxygen. RQ is the ratio of CO2 released to that of oxygen consumed. Fats have far less amount of oxygen compared to carbon in their molecules it consumes more oxygen compared to oxygen release. In carbohydrates, CO2 released and oxygen consumed are equal. 
that's why the carbohydrates rq value is always 1 whereas fatty acids and the proteins are substrate or always rq value is less than 1 what is meant by amphibolic pathway a metabolic pathway in which both anabolic and catabolic pathways take place is called as amphibolic pathway that is respiratory pathway okay amphibolic pathway means a metabolic pathway in which both anabolic and catabolic pathways take place is called as amphibolic pathway example respiratory pathway name the mobile electron carriers of the respiratory electron transport chain in the inner mitochondrial membrane so ubiquinone and cytochrome c this is the answer see name the mobile electron carriers of respiratory electron transport chain in the inner mitochondrial membrane answer is ubiquinone and cytochrome c what is the final acceptor of electrons in aerobic respiration from which complex does it receive electrons oxygen is the final acceptor of electrons it receives electrons from complex 4 that means the cytochrome c oxidase okay so what is the final acceptor of electrons in aerobic respiration from which complex does it receive electrons the answer is oxygen is the final acceptor of electrons it receives electrons from complex 4 that is cytochrome c oxidase next uh, one more important to one question do you know of any step in krebs cycle where there is a abstract level phosphorylation explain yes you see do you know of any step in krebs cycle where there is a substrate level phosphorylation explain during the cleavage of succinyl coenzyme a into succinic acid and coenzyme a in presence of enzyme succinic thiokinase a molecule of atp is formed this formation of atp is substrate level phosphorylation you see during the cleavage of succinyl coenzyme a into succinic acid and coenzyme a in the presence of enzyme succinic thiokinase a molecule of atp is formed this formation of atp is substrate level phosphorylation these are the important important two marks question that means i was explained 10 two marks questions in respiration lesson are important next uh, short answer type questions that means four marks questions that means in ipa question paper section b possess uh, Uh, 4 marks question that means short answer type section a 2 marks questions section b 4 marks questions section c essay questions so one of the important 4 uh, marks question in respiration lesson is define rq write a short note on rq this is the most important 4 marks question in respiration lesson so for 4 marks question you have to answer up to 20 lines you see for this question you have to write this information during aerobic respiration oxygen is consumed and co2 is released the ratio of the volume of co2 evolved to the volume of oxygen consumed in respiration is called the respiratory quotient that means rq or respiratory ratio 
in living organisms respiratory substrates are often more than one rq values are used to know the nature of the respiratory substrate rq is volume of co2 evolved by volume of oxygen consumed the respiratory quotient depends upon the type of respiratory substrate used during respiration when carbohydrates are used as the substrate and completely oxidized the rq will be 1 because equal amount of co2 and oxygen are evolved and consumed res- respectively as shown in equation below see c6h12o6 plus 6o2 gives a 6co2 6h2o plus energy that means 6co2 evolve 6 oxygen is consumed so 6co2 by 6o2 equal to 1 when fats are used in respiration the rq is less than 1 calculations for fatty acid tripomitin if you use as a substrate is shown so tripomitin 145 oxygen is utilized 102 co2 is evolved so that 102 by 145 it is a 0.7 when proteins are respiratory substrate the ratio would be about 0.9 pure proteins or fats are never used as respiratory substrate so for this question you have to write this information so define rq write a short note on rq means you have to write this information and this one up to here so that you will get 4 out of 4 marks next one more 4 marks question in respiration lesson describe briefly the process of fermentation in fermentation say by yeast the incomplete oxidation of glucose under anaerobic conditions result in pyruvic acid converted to co2 and ethanol the enzyme pyruvic acid decarboxylase the alcohol dehydrogenase catalyze these reactions other organisms like some bacteria produce lactic acid from pyruvic acid the steps involved are two pyruvic acid convert into two acetaldehyde so two co2 are evolved next two acetaldehyde plus 2 NADH gives us 2 ethyl alcohol plus 2 NAD enzyme being alcohol dehydrogenase so process of fermentation you have to write this information in fermentation say by yeast the incomplete oxidation of glucose under anaerobic conditions result in pyruvic acid converted to CO2 and ethanol the enzyme pyruvic acid decarboxylase and alcohol dehydrogenase catalyze these reactions other organisms like some bacteria produce lactic acid from pyruvic acid the steps involved are two pyruvic acid is two acetaldehyde plus two co2 enzyme being pyruvate decarboxylase two acetaldehyde plus two nadh2 two ethyl alcohol plus 2 nad enzyme being alcohol dehydrogenase you know the pyruvic acid is the end product of glycolysis so in fermentation also after completion of glycolysis these two reactions takes place so in animal cells also like muscles during exercise when oxygen is inadequate for cellular respiration pyruvic acid is reduced to lactic acid by lactate dehydrogenase the reducing agent is nadh2 which is 
reoxidize it to NAD in both the process. In both the lactic acid and alcohol fermentation, not much energy is released, less than 7% of energy in glucose is released and not all of it is trapped as a high energy bonds of ATP. Also, the process are hazardous, either acid or alcohol is produced. Yeasts poison themselves to death when the concentration of alcohol reaches about 13%. Fermentation results net gain of only 2 ATPs. So that Describe briefly the process of fermentation means you have to write the set formation and the set formation up to here. For four months you have to write to, uh, approximately 20 lines. One more question. Why is the respiratory pathway referred to as amphibolic pathway explained? This is one more four months question. Because the respiratory pathway is involved in both anabolism and catabolism. It would hence be better to consider the respiratory pathway as an amphibolic pathway rather than as a catabolic one. Glucose is the favored substrate for respiration and enter the respiratory pathway at the first step. In fatty acids were to be respired, they would first be degraded to acetyl coenzyme A and enter the pathway. Glycerol would enter the pathway after being converted to phosphoglycerol dehyde. The proteins would be degraded by proteases and the individual amino acids depending on their structure would enter the pathway at some stage with the Krebs cycle or even pyruvate or acetyl coenzyme. Since the respiration involves breakdown of substrate, the respiratory process has traditionally been considered a catabolic process and the respiratory pathway as a catabolic pathway. Different substrates would enter if they were to be respired and used to derive energy. These compounds that would be withdrawn from the respiratory pathway for the synthesis of the said substrate. Hence, fatty acids would be broken down to acetyl coenzyme A before entering the respiratory pathway when it is used as a substrate. But when the organisms need to synthesize fatty acids, acetyl coenzyme A would be withdrawn from the respiratory pathway for it. Hence, the respiratory pathway comes into the picture both during breakdown and the synthesis of fatty acid. Similarly, during breakdown and the synthesis of protein 2, respiratory intermediates from the limb. That's why respiration is treated as an amphibolic pathway. So, for this question, you have to write this information. This information is sufficient for this question so that you will get 4 out of 4 marks. Write about two ATP yielding reactions of glycolysis. So this is a in glycolysis uh, pathway, this is a, a part one. Both the reactions yielding ATP in glycolysis are substrate level phosphorylation reactions. Both the reactions are dephosphorylation reactions mediated by kinase enzyme. So 1,3-bisphosphoglyceric acid plus ADP gives rise 3 phosphoglyceric acid plus ATP enzyme phosphoglycerokinase. Phosphoenyl pyruvate plus ADP 
pyruvic acid gives rise to pyruvic acid plus ATP enzyme pyruvic kinase. For every molecule of 3 carbon compound, glycerol had 3 phosphate. Total 2 ATP molecules are released in the glycolysis. Oxygen is not used in the production of energy in the form of ATP. Phosphorylated substrate donate their phosphate to form ATP from ADP. In anaerobic organisms, this is the only energy release. Total ATP for mole of glucose are 4 ATP. Net gain is 2 ATP and 2 ATP are utilized in phosphorylation of glucose and fructose 6 phosphate. So for this question you have to write. You see, so glycolysis, when one glucose is involved, total 4 ATPs are generated, 2 ATPs are utilized. So net gain is 2 ATPs. The net gain of ATP for the complete aerobic respiration of glucose is 36. So that means net gain is 36. What is the total ATPs are 38. You see, in respiration, ATP are produced directly by substrate level phosphorylation and majority of ATP produced when the electron carries enter electron transport chain. The balance sheet of ATP production is as follows when glucose is completely oxidized in aerobic respiration. You see, in glycolysis, 1,3-bisphosphoglyceric acid converted to 2-phosphoglyceric acid, so 2 ATPs are generated. Phosphoenyl pyruvic acid converted to pyruvic acid, 2 ATPs, so total 4 ATPs. Whereas here 2 ATPs are utilized, so net gain is 2 ATPs. 1 ATP from 2 NADH2 generated in glycogen. Next time, ATP from 2 NADH2 generated in glycolysis. So that means glycerol had 3 phosphate to bisphosphoglyceric acid. So 2 will be formed. So 2 into 2 that means 4 ATPs. Next, oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvic acid. That means pyruvic acid to acetyl coenzyme A. Here, NADH2. Two NADH2s will be formed. Each NADH2 is equal to 3 ATPs, so 6 ATPs. ATP produced in the substrate level phosphorylation. Succinyl coenzyme A to succinic acid, 2 ATPs, so equal to 2 ATPs. Whereas isocitric acid converted to oxalosuccinic acid, alpha ketoacetic acid converted to succinyl coenzyme A, malic acid converted to oxalosuccinic acid. Here 2, here 2, here 2, total 6. So each NADH2 is equal to 3 ATPs. So that 2 NADH2 is 6 ATP, 6 ATP, 6 ATP. ATP from FADH2. So, succinic acid converted into fumaric acid, two FADH2s are generated. Each FADH2 is equal to two ATPs. So, two FADH2 is total four ATPs. So, by the calculation, by the calculation of all these ATPs, the net gain of ATPs from glucose 36 ATPs. That means by aerobic respiration, oxidation of one glucose molecules net gain is 36 ATPs, whereas the total ATPs are 38, 38. So, up to here, I was explained important two marks questions and four marks questions from respiration lesson for IPE point of view. Thank you. Amphibolic pathway. Generally, carbohydrates are used as substrates for respiration. Before entering into respiration, Carbohydrates are first converted into glucose. 
other substrate can also be respired, but they do not enter into the pathway at first step. For example, fats need to be broken down into glycerol and fatty acid first. Fatty acids need to be broken down into acetyl COA and then they can enter into the pathway. Similarly, glycerol is converted into PGAL and then they can enter into the pathway. In proteins, they first break down into amino acids and then into pyruvic acid and enter into the respiratory pathway. When organism needs to synthesize fatty acids, then acetyl COA is withdrawn from the pathway. Hence, it proves that the pathway is involved in both anabolic and catabolic processes and hence it is also known as an amphibolic pathway. Calculation of respiratory quotient For carbohydrates, C6H12O6 plus 6O2 gives 6CO2 plus 6H2O. Respiratory quotient can be calculated as 6CO2 by 6O2 is equal to 1. For fats, 2C57H110O6 plus 163O2 gives 114CO2 plus 11H2O. Respiratory quotient is equal to 114CO2 by 163O2 is equal to 0.7. For protein, the value of respiratory quotient is 0.9. TCA cycle. TCA is tricarboxylic acid cycle named so because citrate and isocitrate are tricarboxylic acids. Krebs cycle by the name of scientist Hans Krebs. Citric acid cycle because first product formed is citrate. Nature of pathway is amphibolic, which is catabolic and anabolic. The site is mitochondria. It occurs only in aerobic conditions and occurs both in fed and fasting state. TCA is called a cycle, not a pathway, because it begins and ends with oxaloacetate. Amphibolic role of TCA. Catabolic role of TCA. Macromolecules finally form acetyl coenzyme A, which enter the TCA. Anabolic role of TCA is that many intermediates of the citric acid cycle synthesize important compounds. Steps of the citric acid cycle. Step 1. Condensation step. Acetyl coenzyme A joins oxaloacetate to form citrate. The enzyme is citrate synthase. Oxaloacetate is the first substrate of the citric acid cycle and is an irreversible step. Questions about oxaloacetate. It is a carrier of the citric acid cycle, first substrate of the cycle, and has a catalytic role in the cycle. Step 2. Conversion of citrate to isocitrate. Citrate is isomerized to isocitrate in two steps. Dehydration to cis-aconitate and rehydration to isocitrate. It is a reversible reaction inhibited by fluoroacetate. The enzyme aconitase is a lyase. Step 3. Conversion of isocitrate to alpha-ketoglutarate. Isocitrate undergoes dehydrogenation by isocitrate dehydrogenase to form oxalosuccinate. Oxalosuccinate is decarboxylated to alpha-ketoglutarate. Decarboxylation requires magnesium ions or manganese ions. It is the first oxidative decarboxylation and one NADH is formed. This is a reversible reaction. Step 4. 
conversion of alpha ketoglutarate to succinyl coenzyme A. Alpha ketoglutarate is oxidized to decarboxylated succinyl coenzyme A. It is the second oxidative decarboxylation and one NADH is formed. Physiologically, it is a unidirectional step. Alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase is inhibited by arsenite, multi enzyme complex similar to pyruvate dehydrogenase, which needs five coenzymes but not regulated by phosphorylation and dephosphorylation, unlike pyruvate dehydrogenase. Step 5 Conversion of succinyl coenzyme A to succinate. Succinate theokinase or succinyl coenzyme A synthetase convert succinyl coenzyme A to succinate. One ATP or GTP is generated in the liver and kidney during starvation. This enzyme produces GTP only substrate level phosphorylation step of the citric acid cycle. Step 6. Conversion of succinate to fumarate. Succinate undergoes dehydrogenation by succinate dehydrogenase forming fumarate. The enzyme contains FAD and iron sulfur protein. The enzyme directly reduces ubiquinone in the electron transport chain, a part of complex 2. It is the only enzyme in the citric acid cycle attached to the inner mitochondrial membrane. Succinate dehydrogenase is inhibited by malonate. Step 7. Conversion of fumarate to malate hydration. Addition of water across the double bond of fumarate forming malate. The enzyme fumarase is a lyase. Step 8. Conversion of malate to oxaloacetate. It is the final step in the citric acid cycle. The enzyme is malate dehydrogenase. Malate is dehydrogenated to oxaloacetate and 1-NADH is generated. Oxaloacetate has a catalytic role like ornithine in urea cycle. Regulation of citric acid cycle is by citrate synthase, isocitrate dehydrogenase, alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase, pyruvate dehydrogenase is also considered as a regulatory step of citric acid cycle. TCA cycle, energetics of the citric acid cycle. The reaction is isocitrate dehydrogenase. Method of ATP production is 1-NADH, enter ETC. Number of ATP generated is 2.5 ATPs. Reaction is alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. Method of ATP production is 1-NADH, enter ETC. Number of ATP generated is 2.5 ATPs. Succinate theokinase. Substrate level phosphorylation. Number of ATP generated is 1. Succinate dehydrogenase. Method of ATP production is 1 FADH2 enter ETC. Number of ATP generated is 1.5 ATPs. Malate dehydrogenase. 1 NADH enter ETC. Number of ADPs generated are 2.5. Total number of ADP per turn of TCA cycle. There's no method of ADP production. The number of ADPs generated is 10 ATPs. Energy yield from one molecule of glucose under aerobic condition. Source. From aerobic glycolysis, there are 7 ATPs generated. From pyruvate dehydrogenase, as two pyruvates from one molecule of glucose. The number of ADPs generated is 2 NADH, which is equal to 5 ATPs. From TCA cycle, as two acetyl coenzyme A from one molecule of glucose, number of ADPs generated is 2 times 10, which is 20 ADPs. 
net ADPs from one molecule of glucose under aerobic condition. It is 7 plus 5 plus 20, which is 32 ATPs. Net ADPs from one molecule of glucose under anaerobic condition. It is 4 minus 2, which is 2 ATPs. Biological organisms require energy to survive. Glycolysis is one of the pathways cells use to transform sugars, like glucose, into biochemical energy in the form of ATP. In the cytosol of the cell, glycolysis converts glucose into pyruvate through a series of 10 enzymatic reactions. This process produces ATP, along with other products such as NADH, that can be used later to produce even more ATP for the cell. Let's watch as these enzymes oxidize one glucose molecule into two pyruvate molecules. First, a kinase reaction adds a phosphate onto glucose to form glucose 6-phosphate. This is one of two energy consumption steps and is an irreversible reaction. Next, an isomerase reaction converts glucose 6-phosphate into fructose 6-phosphate by rearranging covalent bonds. Another kinase removes a phosphate group from ATP and gives it to fructose 6-phosphate to form fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. This is the second energy consumption step and an irreversible reaction. In the fourth step of glycolysis, a lyase reaction splits the 6-carbon fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into two 3-carbon sugars, dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. The dihydroxyacetone phosphate is rearranged by another isomerase to form a second glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. At this point in glycolysis, glucose has been metabolized into two glyceraldehyde 3-phosphates and two ATPs have been consumed. The next five steps of glycolysis are the energy-producing phase. In step 6, both glyceraldehyde 3-phosphates are oxidized to 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate by a dehydrogenase. This step produces one NADH for each oxidized glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, for a total of two NADHs. These NADHs are later used to produce more ATP for the cell. In step 7, a kinase transfers a phosphate from 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate to ADP to form ATP and 3-phosphoglycerate. This step is reversible even though ATP is formed. The next step involves a mutase reaction that moves the phosphate on the third carbon of 3-phosphoglycerate to the second carbon position to form 2-phosphoglycerate. In step 9, a lyase reaction removes water from 2-phosphoglycerate to form phosphoenyl pyruvate. In the final step of glycolysis, a kinase reaction removes the phosphate group from phosphoenyl pyruvate and donates it to ADP to form ATP and pyruvate. Like reactions 1 and 3, this step is irreversible. At this point, two pyruvate molecules, four ATPs, and two NADHs are formed for each glucose that was broken down in glycolysis. The pyruvates and NADHs could be used in aerobic respiration to produce more energy for the cell. Here, we depict glycolysis as a closed process. But in cells, substrates produced by other reactions can enter glycolysis at different points. For example, when an animal breaks down glycogen, glucose 6-phosphate is produced and can then enter the glycolysis pathway at the second step. Importantly, this means one less ATP is required for the pathway because the first ATP-consuming step is skipped. 
Other sugars can also enter the glycolysis pathway at different points, each having a different effect on the net number of ATPs that are produced by glycolysis. These ATPs are important energy molecules required for many biochemical pathways and ultimately life itself. Glycolysis is a major contributor to the pool of ATP used in these pathways, pathways that are essential to the survival of biological organisms. Good morning, viewers. My name is Trivedi. Subject History, KGB in Maritime, East to Godavari District. Today, our seventh chapter, the beginning of modern age. We are discussing about the lesson is the beginning of modern age. This is our seventh chapter.
universities of Palu, P A D U A. Padu Center uh, Padu and Bolna This is two university, universities B O L O G N A Bolna and Padu P A D U A Had been centers Had been centers these are two universities. What is that university? Pahu. P-A-D-U-A. And Bolna. B-O-L-O-G-N-A. Bolna had been centers of legal studies. Of legal. Legal studies. Legal studies from the. From the. 11th. From the eleventh century, eleventh century. In Italian culture, in Italian cities, in Italian cities, new era, new education. New education inspired new education inspired by by humanism by humanism became popular. Critical and creative. 
creative scholarship okay now we are discussing about the study of greek literature What is the third subtopic is study of Greek literature. Study of Greek literature. Okay. Petrarch. 
Second word means Petrach. P E T R A C H. P E T R A R C H. Petrach. What he says? Dendi Pieris. Twelve twenty five. Twelve. Sorry, twelve sixty five to thirteen twenty one. He was Petrach. He was Petrach. Now we are discussing the print. Okay. A history of the printing press, including a discussion of Johannes Gutenberg. You know about the person. Johannes Gutenberg introduced the printing press. Okay, which he was, which place was Germany. Germany made it. Date of Johannes Gutenberg. Date of fourteenth century. Okay, probably he died on February third. Fourteen sixty-eight, Munich. And what is the full name of Johann Gutenberg? Okay, printing. Okay, look at the board. Okay, a history of the printing press. A history of the printing press. Johann. Sorry, a history of the printing press, including a discussion of, including a discussion of, discussion of, discussion of.
Next question. Johans. Johan is J O H A N N. Yes, Johan is Guten Berg. Guten Berg. J O H A N N. Yes, Johan is Guten Berg. G U T E N B E R G. Johan Guten is Berg. Date of century. Fourteen. There is no year, only mentioned century. The birth century is 14th century. And died February 3rd, 1468. 1468. Place of birth. Place of birth. Mona Lisa. 
that combined medieval roman classical designs look at that all of you its most glorious expressions in its painting sculpture and architecture okay clear this is the florence the center of renaissance what is the meaning of renaissance it's a french word meaning rebirth it refers to a period in european civilization that was marked by a revival of classical learning and wisdom this is the the beginning of modern age now condition of women
here Radha Mona Lisa picture. Which here Radha Mona Lisa picture. Fifteen, not three. Who is interested in the printing machine? John, John Rohan's bird. Very good. Which place is bird? Germany. Meaning M-A-I-N-J. This is the importance of the importance of the competitive examination. Okay? Clear all of you?